Hey, what's up everyone? Abhi here and today we're gonna talk about the stuff that I carry every day for the year of 2024 as a uni student. So without any further delay, let's jump right into the video. This is basically what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to keep things very minimal because as a student, I don't wanna carry a lot with me. So let's have a look at my minimal EDC. Since this is a tech video, let's just start with my daily driver, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, without which I can't imagine my life, which has the D brand robot camo. And on top of it, I'm using a speaking case. And I really love this combo as this looks sick. It's been almost more than three years since I've been using the phone and it's been performing decently well. I'm looking forward to upgrade it later this year because the battery life has degraded quite a bit and I really need that camera upgrade. And I'm struggling a bit with the storage since I keep all my photos and videos offline. This 256 gig is almost at its edge. I know the cameras are gonna be a huge upgrade when I do it later this year and that's the only thing I'm looking forward to. I really think there's no need to upgrade your device every year and a good phone can easily last you four to five years. I do need to plug it in between the day to survive the whole day but apart from that, the performance is still solid and I really like iOS 17. It still flies through everything I throw at it and I am a heavy user for sure. Talking about the battery life, as I said, the phone generally dies in between the days. So I have to carry this MagSafe power bank from Ambrain, which is 10,000 mAh. Generally lasts me about two charges for my phone and it is a really lifesaver. I missed it one day and I wasn't carrying it and it was a nightmare. My phone died and it's not fun. It also has a kickstand so while watching content, I can just snap it on the back and consume some content. Pretty simple but effective and a necessity. The most important thing when you leave your house to carry is your wallet, obviously, but I don't carry cash at all. So I have this minimal metal wallet, which I generally just carry for my transit card as Presto is still not available on Apple wallet. I hate that, but yeah, that's pretty much it what I use it for. I do have my other cards and my student ID in it as well. Enough about this. This is a pretty simple metal card holder in black, which can hold up to six cards in it. And to carry a bit of cash, we have a small pocket on it as well, where I actually carry Presto and my student ID since the inside is already full with all the other cards. Along with that, it also has an air tag just in case if I lose it somewhere. I know there are holders that come with the air tag holder, but I didn't really plan on using one initially. Finances out of the way and we get a look how I manage my time, which is, yeah, the Apple Watch. I am using the Apple Watch Series 9 with an all black silicon band. I've never solidified on the bands and the look of the watch, so I keep on switching it in between with some pop of color or just use the metal band for that premium look. I am using the infographic watch face as it pretty much shows me all the details I want to know in a glance from time, both my current and my home time, along with temps, my rings, and the battery percentage. I absolutely love this watch to the core. I know I don't use it to the full potential, but I have been wanting an Apple Watch since like forever and this doesn't disappoint. The battery life easily lasts me about two days, but I generally drop it at charge by the end of the day when I go to bed. For my audio needs, I generally carry two things. First of all is my AirPods Pro first gen, which are on the brink of just dying, but I do still carry it as a backup and for the ease of use. Also, the microphone has gone very shit. So yeah, I was on the verge of just dropping them and getting the new AirPods Pro second gen, but then I gave it a thought. I was like, let's try headphones this time. So on the Black Friday, I got a pretty good deal for the Sony WH-1000XM5s, and I've been absolutely using them every single day. I love the wider sound stage than what just the AirPods Pro offered me. I do really like it. I have a bit of nitpick in it because sometimes I feel like the left ear, like ear cup makes sort of a static noise. I don't know if it's related to the noise cancellation, which most probably is the reason. The noise cancellation is very good and the microphones are amazing. While traveling in a crowded bus or subway, talking to people, it's just a breeze since the mic cancels out almost all of the background noise. These are amazing and I love them, but I still prefer the transparency mode on the air 
AirPods too. But apart from that, this is working like a charm and I absolutely love it. As a film student, I always have to carry some sort of storage with me. So I have been using this trustworthy Samsung T5 SSD, which is just 500 gig, but it has all of my assignments and the major stuff that I need on day to day basis. I'm going to upgrade this for sure. I'm most probably going to get the T7 and like a higher storage variant, most probably a terabyte or two terabytes because this is what I need whenever I go to school and it carries basically everything so I can just have this in my pocket and not worry about if I'm missing some sort of document which I need for another assignment. Small form factor and a necessity. I also used to have an iPad Pro and ROG Ally but I didn't really use them enough so I kind of returned and sold them so I was like let's just keep things minimal and take things that I really require. For kicks, I recently picked up the Air Force One Mid LV08s in red and black, it's sort of a cream. I love the colorway and these are super comfortable. I do wear them quite a lot, so there's that. So that is about for my EDC. As you see, you don't need the latest and greatest in tech to survive. It's just how you get things done. Since I have an older phone, I do feel the need for upgrades sometimes, but generally I would say you can easily last with a phone for about three to four years without any hesitation. So yeah. I know it is tempting to get everything that you want, but you have, as a student at least, you have better financial decisions to make. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.